hello dear friends welcome back now in today's lecture we are going to start with the next important concept that is classical idea about your electro positive element and the electro negative element under the heading old and the classical concept of the redox reaction remember this concept is very important okay now we know that in the previous lecture we have defined the oxidation reduction and the redox reaction in terms of oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom one okay so obviously only oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom is not the part of your redox reaction one okay because that definitions were restricted up to oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom only okay now instead of that one if i use the word electro negative element or the electro positive element it will make a more sense okay that will be in a broad sense one now we know that what is electro negative element one and what is electro positive element let us simply discuss it electro negative element one what about the electro negative element one we know that in the periodic table there are the several elements one is it right which shows either the electro negative electro negative nature or the electro positive nature one okay now if i have to consider simply this term electro negative we know that any, any atom which accept the electron and convert into the m minus ion okay atom convert into the ion one and it will have the negative charge now that particular element is known as an electro negative element one simply this particular atom have tendency to accept the electron one okay now what about the electro positive element or electro positive nature of the element we know that whenever any atom which lose its electron and convert into the m plus ion okay now that particular element is known as an electro positive element one remember in the periodic table there are the several elements which shows the electro positive and the electro negative nature one so if we have to define the again oxidation reduction and the redox reaction in terms of your electro positive element and the electro negative find the oxidation process by using this concept one now what about the oxidation one the addition of addition of electro negative element addition of electro negative element or or the removal of removal of electro positive element electro positive element in a reaction now that process is called as oxidation or oxidation reaction remember okay for example example first magnesium in solid combines with the fluorine gas gives mgf2 that is your magnesium fluoride that is in solid form okay now next second example if i am going to consider that is mg in solid plus never in solid gives mgs solid okay mg in solid plus o2 in gases form gives mg o okay in solid so again if i consider the next example that is mg in solid plus cl2 in gases gives mg cl2 so in this all reactions fluorine sulfur oxygen and chlorine they all are acting as an electronegative elements one remember so their nature is a 
electro negative so these elements are the electro negative in nature one and now here this electro negative element is added to your magnesium metal and there is a formation of the different compounds one so by the definitions that is addition of your electro negative element is nothing but oxidation process one what is the importance of this particular concept here we are not restricted up to the oxygen atom one okay we are using the different electro negative element one okay so that's why this particular process is called as an you know, oxidation process one now let us define next reduction process as you know that this is the exactly opposite one to your oxidation process what about the reduction now how we can define the reduction it is very simple you can tell me that definition here addition of electronegative element so exactly opposite will be there removal of electronegative element now here removal of electropositive element now here will be the addition of electropositive element one so let us define the reduction reaction the removal of removal of two element removal of electro negative element or or addition of addition of electro positive element in a reaction now that particular reaction is called reduction reaction okay now it is called as an reduction reaction so this is very simple definition for example the first example that is your 2 hgo okay gives 2 hg plus o2 in gases form and hg is in the liquid form Next example that is 2 fecl3 plus h2 gas fecl3 in aqueous h2 gas it gives cl2 aqueous plus 2 hcl okay yes is now last example that i am going to consider third double bond ch2 plus h2 gas gives ch3 ch3 okay now in this reaction in all about the examples this particular reaction there is a removal of electronegative element oxygen hence this process will be the reduction that is according to our definition okay now here also remember one chlorine is removing and there is formation of hcl1 okay so that is fecl2 your ferric chloride converted your ferrous chloride one so here again there is a removal of electronegative element one now here there is a addition of your electro positive element one generally hydrogen atom act as an electro positive element and it is added across this double bond so according to this definition this is nothing but the reduction reaction one so this is about your oxidation and the reduction reaction let's define now the redox reaction one redox reaction by using your electro positive and the electro negative element one now how we can define this redox reaction so previously we have defined this redox reactions by combining the definition of your oxidation and the reductions here also we are doing the same one now the addition of the addition of electro negative element addition of electro negative element or or the removal of removal of electro positive element electro positive element and and the removal of removal of 
इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव एलिमेंट इलेक्ट्रो निगेटिव एलिमेंट और द एडिशन ऑफ और द एडिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट टेक्स प्लेस टेक्स प्लेस साइमल्टेनियसली साइमल्टेनियसली इन दी इन दी सेम रिएक्शन नाउ इट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉल्ड एज रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन ओके नाउ इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए ना रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन ओके लेटस रिवाइज दिस डेफिनेशन remember the addition of electro negative element or the removal of electro positive element and the removal of electro negative element and addition of electro positive element which takes place simultaneously that means within the same chemical reaction now that reaction is called as an redox reaction one remember these definitions are little bit confusing one okay so now let us consider the example of the redox reaction one for example two hg cl2 aqueous mercury chloride plus sn cl2 aqueous that is your which gives hg2 cl2 dimercuric dichloride solid plus we are getting the sn Cl four that is nothing but your stannic chloride one. Okay, it is in aqueous. That's it. Now, in this particular example, your mercury chloride converted to dimercury chloride. So you can easily observe that there is a addition of a Hg atom. Okay. So this is nothing but the electro positive element one. So here. addition of electro positive element okay that process is nothing but addition of electro positive thing but our reduction reaction okay this is nothing but the reduction process now we know that sncl2 converted to sncl4 okay so here there is a addition of that is your sncl2 converted to sn cl4 so obviously chlorine is nothing but electronegative element so here there is a addition of electronegative element takes place okay now that is nothing but your oxidation process and as we know that whenever there is a simultaneous oxidation and the reduction takes place within the same chemical reaction hence this reaction is nothing but the redox reaction one okay that's it so this is about the definitions of your oxidation reduction and the redox reaction one now again just revise this thing. what is the importance of this particular concept we know that these definitions are not restricted to any specific atom one okay there are the several electro positive element and these several electro negative element one in the periodic table so we can find out which is the oxidation process which is the reduction process and whether that reaction is a redox reaction or not by using the particular term that is your electro positive and the electro negative element so this is the importance of this particular concept so this is about the last part of our old and the classical concept that is classical ideas about the electro positive element and the electro negative element one so thank you for watching this video